Great, great, great. We are excited, uh, and I am wearing my New York Mets hat for a reason. It is to psychologically throw off Chicago, you know? Yes. So they realize that just as we blew them away in the series, we are going to blow them away in coding. And you know, coding is the computer language that allows smartphones to be smart. And we want our children to know how to use that language as they move forward to not only how they interact today, but how do they interact in the future. So we're using the energy that comes with friendly competition to challenge Chicago to see who can have the most schools, percentage of the most schools sign up for our Hour of Code competition that will take place during the week of Science Week in December. The goal is to introduce our children to coding, allow them to understand the importance of coding and the importance of computer science and what it means to be a part of computer science. And so what you see here are all of our schools, and it is a list of all the schools in the borough of Brooklyn. Each time a school signs up, they will receive a check to show full participation. And we're also going to cheer on those schools who are slow to sign up. As we see, some of our high schools have to catch up, and some of our districts are not really in full stride yet. But we know this is just a season. The playoffs are coming, and so we want to get them all involved in this competition. And we're excited. Now, here's what happens. The losing school districts will have to, to sing the other city's anthem. <laughs> so our students better be ready. We're not trying to sing Chicago, Chicago. You know? <laughs> and so we really want to thank um, all those who have participated. Um, over 50% of our schools have signed up to date. Um, we have in over 200 schools who are participating at a, at a, a large number of schools we have. Uh, in the borough of Brooklyn. We can't thank our partners uh, enough. Donna, Donna Taylor, principal of PS 686, um, Brooklyn School of Inquiry in Gravesend. Rob Underwood, amazing CC 13, and he teaches um, CS executive. He's a, he's a CS executive uh, director. And also we have Norm Sataria, right? New York City um, First Robotics. Andrew Marshall, co-president of the Parent Teachers Organization of PS slash MS 282 in Park Slope. They received $500,000 of our grant um, in our um, FY16 budget. And Deborah Chang, co-founder of Nexus Works, helping um, with, our, with our outreach. So this is an amazing collaboration of parents, PTAs, schools, uh, the coding and computer industry, we're all coming together really to give the energy of how do we introduce coding into the lives of our young people. And when you look at the numbers, the numbers speak for themselves. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, computer science jobs will grow by 22% from 2012 to 2022. And an additional 220,000 jobs during that same time time frame. So we're really i um, excited about um, how we creatively introduce coding uh, to our young people. And it's about using the energy of competition, friendly competition. It's one thing to compete uh, on the baseball diamond, and it's another thing to compete inside our classrooms of how do we have the largest percentage of schools uh, that are going to participate in our hour of code. This is a extremely important uh, the future of our cities are going to be measured in ones and zeros. So we're looking for one zero zero, one hundred percent participation um, of our schools to sign up. Our schools can go to schoolsignup.codebrooklyn.org. Schoolsignup.codebrooklyn.org. And so let's go Mets. Let's go Brooklyn. We'll see you, Chicago, in December when we win the crown. <laughs> so I want to call on Donna Taylor, our principals. We can't say enough about our principals and the great things that they're doing. Principal of PS 686. Hi, I'm very happy to be here standing by.
by Eric, who is very supportive of our efforts down in South Brooklyn. And I just have to say that I'm going to go home and reach out to every principal that I know to get them in the game because we got to take Chicago on. And who better to do it, right? So let's go. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. And Rob Underwood, who really had the vision of, uh, you know, really using coding. We can't thank you enough, Rod, Rob, for just taking and moving it together. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, thank you, Borough President Adams. Uh, delayed to be here. Um, this is the culmination of a ton of hard work by lots of different people um, all across our great borough. And I just want to thank um, all of the principals, all of our amazing superintendents, all of our amazing volunteers, um, the vision of the borough president and his office. Um, and I really want to encourage um, all of our local organizations, our community boards, our community education councils, our PTOs and our PTAs and our PAs to get involved. This is critically important. This is a key part of the overall initiative, uh, which is See Us For All. And we have a wonderful opportunity here. I'm extremely excited uh, to see all of these schools listed here. Uh, some of these schools I dearly love, and I'm excited to see them all uh, get going with computer science. It's going to be great, so thank you, Borough President Adams, for your leadership here. Uh, a wonderful event, and thank you, everyone, for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. So, by looking at the board, the score sheet, this is, these are our box scores, we like to say. P, um, District 17 is an area, District 18, we want to focus on. And we want to focus on our high schools. The remaining districts seem to be uh, doing very well. And so we want, we want to really focus on those schools um, and those districts. So we're going to cheer them on as we you know, move this initiative forward. And it's about, as our principal stated, it's about reaching out, calling the schools, and telling them, please sign up. Um, it's an hour of code. It's an excellent opportunity to introduce our young people uh, to the, what coding means and how the devices they use every day. Uh, you can change lives by learning how to make those smartphones smarter because Brooklyn students are smarter and we know that. So thank you. We'll open up to any questions that you may have. Uh, we did a video against uh, Chicago. They did a cute little video. You know, but um, we're ready for Chicago. And what are you doing wearing that Detroit hat? <laughs> we, we have a website, which is uh, schoolsignup.codebrooklyn.org. Uh, Chicago may have a, a method that they're using to sign up their schools, but we would like our schools to all sign up through this portal so we can keep a track of you know, the days they're going to teach the coding and ensure that we give them the right check. And they can come down themselves if they want and check the box as well, let the students come down. It's about participation. Um, we are in the era where learning is participatory, is how do we participate in a learning process. A child that comes here and, and checks a box would be energized to do this type of training back in the classroom, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all. <laughs>